Next on my list, we have uh, the duality of esoteric versus exoteric. This relates to how we understand religion. So when we talk about religion in common parlance, mainstream parlance, usually people, when they hear the word religion, they think of exoteric forms of spirituality, which just means that it's a sort of a materialistic, externalized version of spirituality where God is some bearded man sitting up in the clouds. There's an actual physical heaven you can go to after you die. There's a physical hell. There's a physical devil. There's a physical good and evil. Uh, the Bible is inerrant and absolutely true, and you must read the Bible because it contains the truth, all this sort of stuff. So it's a very externalized, gross form of spirituality. And of course, it turns a lot of rationally-minded people off because you have to be pretty naive to literally believe in things like Noah's Ark and uh, certain other um, uh, mythical type uh, stories that you can read in various kinds of holy books. You have to be pretty naive to take those literally. But what people don't realize is that there's the esoteric version of spirituality or religion, which is actually the kernel that is responsible for the existence of an exoteric. So what people don't understand is that you can't have an exoteric religion without an esoteric one first. Um, and so that's how every uh, religion began. Every exoteric religion, including Islam, Christianity, Judaism, uh, Buddhism, uh, Hinduism, and so forth, they all began as esoteric. Esoteric means going inside. As Jesus said, find the kingdom of heaven within. That means it's inside of you. It's something you are. God is not out there in the clouds. You are God. That's mysticism. That's es esoteric. Uh, but of course, these, are, these two are intimately connected together. And so it's not so easy to actually separate the esoteric from the exoteric. And so various kinds of pathologies result when people don't understand this distinction, and also they're not able to, to transcend it. And to realize that it's not like one is right and, and the other is wrong, it's just that you have, to, you have to put the exoteric practices of religion into proper context. And so ultimately, when you do transcend the subjective-objective duality that is present within exoteric religion, you discover esoteric with a capital E, true religion, religion with a capital R. And that religion looks almost nothing like what you imagined religion to be. All those negative qualities that you attributed to religion like dogma and fundamentalism and violence and bigotry and ethnocentrism and racism and tribalism and un us versus them thinking and morality and all these sorts of negative things that you attributed to religion with a lowercase r, you discover that uh, uh, true religion is the opposite of all those things. And then you really discover what people like Jesus or the Buddha or Muhammad taught. And it's the opposite of what you think they taught. And the only way you can realize that is by actually uh, transcending, transcending these dualities.